you guys. Right. So this is part two of the book we are creating. If you haven't watched part one where I created this cover, go back and watch it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the liners in and we're gonna put our metal embellishments in. And then part three will be the signatures. So the first thing I want to do is if you want a tie closure to your journal, um, this is where you're gonna put your ribbon in. If you don't want one, then you don't have to put one in there. I like a tie closure just because if you have loose ephemera or anything like that in there, you can keep it more secure and close. So I'm using this chiffon ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue it here in the middle. This is Beacons 3-in-1 glue and I put it in these icing bottles because it's a lot easier and you don't have to have a lid for it. So I'm going to put this across here first. And this is just some pink ribbon that I had just sitting around. Okay, now we're going to make the liners that are going to go over this. Usually what I do is when I have my eyelets, these are 3 16 eyelets, five millimeters. You can poke them in, hole, in the holes now using your eyelet tool. You could, and then put your sheet over it and then poke smaller holes to go through there doesn't matter or you can put them on after you have your sheet on either way it's going to look all the same but I do like to put a sheet over this because you don't want to see the chipboard okay so let's cut I'm going to put this to the side and let's cut out our liner pages and we are using the rose perfume stamperia paper Okay, so we're going to leave these to the side. That way we can use those later. This will make a good liner paper right here. And these. And when I create these books, I use two packs of Stamperia paper because it only has 10 sheets in it. And that's not enough. So your liners are going to be the book length this way is eight and a half. So you want to go probably about eight and three eighths of an inch in height and five and a half for the liners on the side and then up. okay so I'm going to make the middle spine five inches wide it's gonna go here we want it to hang over a little bit because the flaps are going to fold in more 
Okay, and then we're going to make these the same eight and three eighths. And five and a half. We're going to do two of those. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the middle spine on. And you want to use um, a bone fold here. You can get them in binding, book binding kits, like for like seven bucks on Amazon. They come with a whole bunch of stuff that you can really use. You're just going to follow the line where the book folds. Okay, and then we're just going to fold this over, just like that, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Makes a nice little scored edge, again fold it over. Then we're going to take our glue. Crafters pick ultimate, and we're just going to go down where the book folds here and across here. Don't get it too close to the holes or it will seep out. It's okay if it gets on the fabric. This is fabric glue. This is for every kind of glue. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to put this right in here. Make sure you even it up where you folded it. We're going to put glue on this page. And you want to hold it up like this when you put it on there. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So good for getting all the excess glue out. And keep working it because I'm going to put just a little bit of extra glue in here. You want to keep working it to make sure that it's going to lay flat and not shift when you open and close it. Okay, also take your point and just push down like this and that will go into the crack of the book so that way you can close it like that. <clears throat> then these are going to be our liner sheet.
Okay, you don't want to go all the way to the edge. You just want to line it up with your spine sheet. Just gently press it down. Do not go all the way to the edge where the book bends either. Okay. Just use this. You can use this to push out any excess glue. Okay, and there you go. Now let's do the other one. Then we're going to put the eyelets in. And I'm going to punch the eyelets in this one after I've already put the paper on. Like I said before, you can do it beforehand. No matter what, you have to punch it through twice. And I don't like to put the paper on ahead of time and then draw all over it and have to erase it. I'd rather it be nice and clean. And then just punch it again. A little bit easier that way. I'm gonna line it up right about there. Just use your bone fold here and then check them. If you get any kind of puckering or anything, just use this and flatten it down. Sometimes they get little air pockets in there. And it's not a big deal. It will flatten. You just gotta keep working it. That's why you should always check it before you move on and bend it, maneuver it around. If you need some extra glue, use it. This is the time to do it. It's better to do it now than when the signatures are in. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's what we're going for. Okay. Now, I'm going to get our eyelets together here. Over there. I'm using the Crocodile Big Bite. We're just going to use the holes on the front to re punch our holes. That way we can put the eyelets in there just like that. So I'm going to show you one eyelet. Now, if your eyelets are too big to go in the hole like this, get something like a paintbrush or something similar. That's why I always keep these handy. And just go like this in there. And just widen the hole just a little bit. And then they fit in there. On the crocodile, we're going to change this setting to, you don't ever really have to change the top. It's one and two on the bottom that you have to change to. This one is the four millimeter setting. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Four millimeter setting. This one over here is five millimeter. Since these ones are wider, we're going with the bigger one. And then you're going to put your washer on here, just like that. 
move it all the way over at the top. And line it up with the top. And push down. And then we have one done. That's the way it's going to look. Okay? So, I'm going to finish punching the holes and putting the eyelets in. Okay. So, all the eyelets are punched. See how nice that looks? They're all on the spine, so they're all ready to go. So, the next step will be putting on our signatures. And I will also be showing you in later videos how I like to embellish the spine, especially right here on the corners, including adding the spine dangles. Right here, I always add these in after I put the signatures in. So the next video will be adding the signatures.